name is Elisa Costante and I am the VP of Research at Full Scout. Today I want to discuss with you a topic that I really care about, which is vulnerability research. Vulnerability research is a set of activities that aims at finding bugs in code. Especially those bugs need to have some characteristics. If the bug can be leveraged to make the code and the program change its behavior, then we have a vulnerability. An example of a bag of a vulnerability can be memory allocation. If the memory of a program is not managed in the right way, an attacker, a malicious actor, could actually write some code that called that program, exploit the vulnerability, and basically in return, they change the behavior of the program. Vulnerability research needs two main characteristics analytical characteristics, but also creativity, because you need to understand and put yourself in the mind of an attacker, what they can do and how can they do that? How can they leverage that vulnerability? What is the final goal or aim uh, that an attacker can reach if the vulnerability is actually exploited? Most of the people think that vulnerability research stops when you found the bug. That's actually not true. There is a big set of next activities that are needed to be followed. For instance, when the bug has been followed and we have assigned the CVE, which is a common identifier uh, that can be globally recognized uh, to identify that specific vulnerabilities, then we need to do something that is called responsible disclosure. Responsible disclosure is a process which starts with notifying a vendor, which is the owner of that piece of code, about the vulnerability and about how it can be exploited. Then it's also consistent on keeping the communication alive with that vendor in order to understand how they are planning to patch that vulnerability. So how are they going to release a new version of the code uh, that addresses the original bug? And how researcher typically can do dissemination about the vulnerability. The responsible disclosure process typically lasts at least 90 days. That gives vendors enough time to allocate the right resources to actually fix the bug and release the patch. After the responsible disclosure period is ended, typically researchers have the freedom uh, to publish their research, to disseminate it with fellow researchers and with the community. This is also a very important piece of the puzzle. It's important because in this way, the researchers can actually um, share with the community about the lesson learned. In this way, programmers could learn how not to make the same mistakes again, at the same way the people that have deployed the vulnerable code um, in their programs, in their devices, in their uh, application, can actually fix uh, the, the problem by downloading the latest patch and then being protected by that code. So I hope I provided you with um, some insights and useful information.